Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own World Warden instance inside of uh, VPS and also why you should consider self-hosting your application on your infrastructure. As you can know, LastPass have a security breach, security incident this month and uh, probably there is there will be some uh, username and password leakage somewhere and uh, we can check the history of the uh, last pass security incidents as we can see let me zoom in they got security incidents in 2011 then 2015 16 17 19 21 and 22 so almost every year there have some security issues security breaches where your passwords your secure world can be exposed to the attackers and they can sell information to perform malicious attacks on your applications uh, well we're gonna uh, for this video we're gonna use the, the bitwarden and the fork of the Bitwarden is a uh, Vault Warden. Vault Warden is alternative implementation of a Bitwarden server written in Rust and compatible with uh, every Bitwarden client. Either you are using Bitwarden on Windows, Mac OS, Android uh, is going to be compatible. You just uh, add your own Bitwarden URL. For this, I created uh, Linode. This is a single Linode for $5 with one CPU, one gig RAM and uh, 25 gigabyte of storage. You can choose whatever you want. It really depends uh, how many users you, you're going to have. Uh, in my use case, this single Linode can be good for 40 to 60 user accounts. Otherwise, if you have more, you will reach, uh, you can reach the server limit and uh, some um, requests cannot work. So you, you have to decide which uh, version, which size you want to use it. But for starters, I recommend just go with the cheapest plan. That's enough for 50 users. So let's go back to the terminal. And here you can see, I selected uh, for this, uh, for my Docker containers, I'm using Debian 11. And Debian 11 is uh, really lightweight, is stable, and is uh, really secure. As we can check, our kernel is uh, 5.10 and is on Debian. And before you start deploying the container on, on Docker, you need to make sure you secure your server properly. You need to secure your ports, especially port 22, because you are authenticating on that port when you log into your cloud console or SSHing to your server. You need to also you need to create your local user and a secure it with a password and also you need to add your user to the sudo group and the docker group so you can perform uh, docker commands without typing uh, sudo so when we have latest docker installed you can check the docker version this is the latest and also docker compose version of docker compose version it should be it is on the latest now we're gonna clone my uh, docker compose config file from the github i will include link for it and uh, we go through the docker compose so we go w get the link the file is there and we're gonna edit it with nano you know, or you can use vi or vim depends which one you like so here 
this is um, basically is a compost file which contains all the necessary docker image all the necessary environment variables so the world warden can work with your environment here we select image it is a world warden server latest here is the volume on the left side it will be volume created by this docker compose it's going to be data and on the right side there's the volume container using it in this volume you will find a sql database and all the data that you put into your world warden and also it is recommended that you set up automatic backup for this folder next one is the ports port on the left is going to be the proxy port we're gonna proxy for the 8062 to our domain we set up and in environment variables you can set up your own postmark smtp server you just add your from email address you can specify smtp from name this one's gonna be stay the same here you paste your postmark api key and the password this can stay the same here you need to change your domain you want to use it for your uh, world warden here you specify your organization name and this one uh, you need to select your you, you need to generate your admin token in order to log in to the bitwarden admin and also make sure you select the proper time zone because uh, when you add a time based authentication you need to make sure that the time zone is correct otherwise your totp codes will be wrong and you won't you will have issue to log into your services so let's quit and i will edit the config and uh, when it's edited we will come back to this terminal so i edited the config and uh, we can start the container by typing docker compose up and we run in a data shop environment so is gonna create a container and it will also if you don't have the latest image it will uh, download the image well we can check docker ps and our world warden is running next thing what we need to do we need to make uh, uh, the world warden a publicly as accessible for you and uh, maybe for your clients or uh, family so we're gonna go back to the browser and uh, we're gonna access the our cloudflare account because we're gonna set up the tunnel so let's go back to the cloudflare and here is my uh, cloudflare training account and uh, how you can uh, create your zero trust account is i already created a video for it so if you need to do that you can watch the video so we click the zero trust close this unnecessary things and when you when you are in your dashboard you go to the access on the left side you click tunnels And we need to create our tunnel in order to communicate with our Docker instance. And we can say World Warden. We select our distro. We use Debian, so we're gonna copy this command to install it on our server. And we go back to the terminal. We're gonna paste the command and press Enter. And it's going to ask for sudo password if you didn't authenticate with the sudo before. And now we can go back to our cloudflare to see if we have a established connection. And as we can see, the connection is established and we can uh, create our tunnel. So we go next. Uh, here you specify specify the subdomain you choose in the docker compose file in our case it was a vaults.webnestify.uk uh, service you select http 
and uh, you will go with a localhost A062. That means when we go back to our terminal, we have this, and we do Docker PS. As we can see, our Bitwarden is working on the port A062 and is going to forward it over the port 80. So that's why we need to select the localhost A062. And we save World War Town. When you have your tunnel here, you can check some additional things or you can check the public host name. And now we're gonna create our account on our Bitwarden. As you can see, everything is working perfectly, and we're gonna create our account. And we can, yeah, I can choose this. I'm gonna generate the password. Generate password. And you can select the hint, but you don't have to. And now we do submit. Registration not allowed or user already exists. Okay, that's perfect. So we need to edit our Docker Compose file. And I do this on the on the reason because out of the box, the registration are not allowed on our Bitwarden. So we go to our Docker Compose file. And, uh, I'm gonna edit it and I will show you what you need to change there. So I will pause the recording and we'll be back right there. So what you need to change in the Docker Compose file is this line, signups allowed, you need to specify this true. Because in my Compose file, I have it uh, set it up on false. So that means you cannot create account. So as we go back to our terminal, we're going to rebuild, respectively restart the Docker Compose file. So let's go back to the terminals. Okay, and we type docker compose stop to stop our current container and then we're gonna do the same like docker compose up slash d. And our container is running and we can go back to browser and create our account. Hopefully. We're gonna generate new password. Submit. As you can see, we receive our email from the postmark, and now we're gonna confirm that email address. Let me open my email. Verify email address now. Email address is verified. So now when we log in, we go with our username and password we set up. And here you are inside your vault where you can create organizations, you can add users to your vault, and also we can add your customers so you can offer more value because you can share the passwords with them. They can use this bit word for themselves for personal use if you allow that. And you can set up uh, different uh, different uh, policies for organization. So for example, we create organization test. I think we need to fill the email. It's going to be test example.com. We created our organization. And here you can add people to your organizations. And here you can specify the policies like the master password. Uh, single organization, that means uh, if you have more users in more organizations, that means the user cannot access more than one organization. And here you can choose if the client can use 
uh, uh, the world warden on his uh, personal needs. And that's pretty, this uh, self explanatory is just the classic Bitwarden on your own server. And is running uh, via Cloudflare tunnel, which is uh, secure. And uh, as I mentioned before, before you do um, <clears throat> any before you deploy any containers, you need to make sure you have secured your uh, Docker environment, Docker daemon, and also <clears throat> to follow the best practices with uh, hardening your Linux server. So I hope this video is going to help you or give you some idea how you can uh, use open source applications in your business. And if you need any help, with a setup or custom deployments, let me know and I'm here to help. Take care.